the premise of the book that we're shooting for the uh, for raising money for the Arts Foundation. Uh, it's a book about fashion, which um, includes models, makeup artists, hairstylists, photographers, <laughs> art directors. Uh, it's people in the creative field. So the book will, you know, we want to make a book of images, of beautiful images, that shows how the team collaborated together to make those images. So it, it, it's, got a, it's got something for everyone in the arts, and that's really what we want to produce, a book of art. It's a team of people, you know, creative people, get together and we produce this together. The more books we sell, the more money and the more courses we can put on for the kids. Oh, three of the children that took part in the Year 6 photo project you see behind us. They took partners each and they did a portrait of each other. Well, Katie originally had the idea that she wanted to do something about her music and how she loved the saxophone. So, but she wanted to do it, so it was quite um, eye-catching. Me and Mimi kind of both designed this at the same time. Um, it's a bit wacky. <laughs> um, Mimi loves jelly. So we thought we'd do a kind of Alice in Wonderland kind of themed. And, um, she's really confused. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At the beginning, it took quite a while to think what we were going to do. But then Sunny told us about uh, multiple exposure. Yeah. So we thought we would use that, and that's how we got. That's how you got that. Yeah. I'm 11. My name's Raynard, and it was really fun doing this project. And. I'd like to do it again. I really enjoyed doing the photography project. I think the best thing was probably when we went to the exhibition and saw all of our work in like a proper exhibition. But it was loads of fun. Definitely do it again. As a storyline yeah. for the book, we're yeah. focusing on the model. So it's the model in our everyday documentary, reportage type feel. Then we therefore create a storyboard around each model to show the transition or the transformation from the girl to the model um, and to make that transformation we need a team of course so that would be a stylist a makeup artist um, the, the photographers the assistant photographers the hairstylist and then on some of the shoots we'll hit, have director of photography to help with some of the lighting because we're doing some cinematic kind of feel and vibes in separate storylines depending on who we need what we need we're going to get the team together because what we really want to do at the end of the day is create a book of art, of fashion images, to show what we do. And also focusing, of course, on the model in her everyday life and what she does and the discipline she has to go through to make those stories work. We're trying to raise enough money to collaborate and get all the images together to produce a coffee table book of beautiful imagery. We will then try and raise money to secure enough funding to put more courses in for underprivileged kids to help give them arts therapy. So whether it be courses in photography, fine art, dance, music, singing, ballet, painting, oil painting, we're trying to help these kids have a way out. We need help to get it produced in a manner that is going to be an outstanding coffee table book. And of course, we need money for the printing of the job. We've got a film crew that's helping us produce a documentary type film and you'll see everything that goes on behind the scenes to actually, what actually really does happen within a shoot. We're going to produce 20 shoots, which is a series of eight to 10 pictures per shoot uh, with a model everyday life, with a model within the storyboard. So you, as the voyeur, will see exactly how a team works, collaborates and you'll see how much it takes to produce a book like this, which is why we do need funding to produce the book. Everybody will get their costs, but all the money goes to, the profit goes to the Arts Foundation to help the kids. So that's what we really, really want to do, is help those kids.